Safety relays are the devices that implement safety functions. In event of a hazard, a safety relay will work to reduce the risk to an acceptable level. When an error occurs, the safety relay will initiate a safe and reliable response. Each safety relay monitors a specific function. By connecting them together to other safety relays, one can achieve total monitoring of a machine or plant. Let's start understand more about safety relay wiring. This is an electrical diagram of a safety relay. As you can see that this is a single channel safety relay. Terminals Y1 and Y2 are the terminals to connect safety devices at channel number 1. Safety devices can be safety door switch of the machine or the laser safety curtain. Terminals A1 and A2 is the power of the safety relay which is 24 volt DC. As you can see that the positive voltage are coming at the terminals A1 through the normal close contact of the emergency push button. We will try this wiring diagram later in this video tutorial, so stay tuned. As we know that every control panel has a master control relay or a contactor which is used to cut off the power to the critical devices in case of emergency. This contactor power is connected to the output terminal of the relay 1314. In case the normal close contact of the safety device which is connected at A1 terminal, the output terminals 13 and 14 opens. Thus, it turns off the master control relay. Since we have connected master control contactor or a relay to these safety terminals, safety relay will cut off the power for this contactor and turn off the power circuit in the control panel. Now let's do the wiring of the safety circuit. First we will connect the 24 volt DC power to the safety relays. As you can see that we can connect the power at A1 terminal through the normal close contact of the emergency switch. Next thing is the green start monitoring push button. We will connect this push button at Y1 terminal through the normal close contact of the master control relay. So it will create So it will create a loop between Y1 and Y2 terminals through the push button, normal open contact and normal close contact of the master control relay. To turn on the contactor, we will use 13 and 14 normal open contact of the safety relay. The last thing we can connect an LED at the normal close contact of the safety relay to show the monitored state of the safety device. For example, if the LED is on, this means that the safety channel is open or safety device has been operated. If the LED is off, this means that the safety channel is normal and everything is fine. As you can see that uh, right now the power of the safety relay is off because the 24 volt DC power is coming from the emergency push button close contact. And uh, right now this contact is open. As soon as I release the emergency push button, the safety relays turns on. Right now the channel indication LEDs are off. As I press the green push button once, the safety channel LED turns on and the contactor also turns on because the internal relays of the safety device also turns on. Now as soon as I press the emergency push button, it will turn off the power of the safety relay and the contactor turns off. Now the red LED also turns on, indicating the state of the emergency safety circuit. Now if we reset the emergency push button and press the green push button, it will turn on the safety channels and the contactor. Red LED also turns off. Relay contacts of the safety relay can be used to give signals at the PLC inputs to monitor the states of the safety loops. So this is the today's tutorial regarding the safety release. I hope you like it. Please share and comment. Till next video, take care and goodbye.